Welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is the Aquarius reading for um, October 15th through no November 15th, and it's your general reading, which encompasses um, a general theme, first of all, then family life, your home life, friends, health, your work life, your money, um, singles love reading, and couples love reading, okay? So the intention of this reading is to pick up on what's going on for the majority of all people of this sign. So it could be your sun, moon, or rising sign. And it's so that we know what's kind of going on this month so that we can make our best choices moving forward. So you can choose um, what resonates with you to focus on. And um, if something doesn't resonate with you within this reading, you might want to check your moon sign or your rising sign. Now, there's a playlist that says um, helpful tools. And there, there's a video that explains explains to you what each sign does. Um, it's kind of an older video, but if you already know, fantastic. Um, and then the other thing is because these readings are going to last a whole month long, sometimes when you initially watch the video, you're like, oh boy, uh, that didn't make sense. But then if you watch it like a week or two or three weeks later, you're like, oh my gosh, that totally makes sense because it hadn't happened yet the first time you watched it. So that's another thing. You might want to save the video and come back to it or Perhaps maybe um, you and I, we just don't click. Maybe I'm not the reader for you, and that's okay. There's lots of other really great readers on YouTube. But if um, it does click for you, you know, um, every reader has a different method of interpretation, a different style, then go ahead and like the video and subscribe to these so that you don't miss out on them when they come out. That way you get a little alert. Um, for those of you who have been with me for a long time, Thank you so much for um, subscribing to my videos, for liking them, sharing them with your friends, um, for all of your comments, for all of your feedback. You're the reason why I keep doing these. Um, I want them to be helpful for you. Uh, if, they, if they weren't, I wouldn't do them, right? What would be the point? So um, for those of you who are new, though, welcome. I hope that you like them. And um, if you're wondering what happened to the other videos that used to be here, the pyramid readings, the stop, drop, and rolls, um, the occasional goofball ones like, you know, holiday themes, Justin Bieber ones, <laughs> stuff like that, those have all moved over to Patreon. So if you don't know what that is, um, it's a site, a different platform um, where there aren't commercials. There's lessons on making crystal grids, tarot card reading, um, lessons, that sort of a thing there. So if you're interested, links are below in the description box. If not, whatever. Um, we'll go ahead and just get started. So first thing I wanted to do, I have two different decks here. Um, goodness, what is this one called? The Soul's Journey, maybe. And then I've got a new deck from a friend, which when friends give you decks, you are obligated to use them. So I am so excited to use the Lion Strider Tarot, but um, we'll get started with this one. So your general overarching theme for this month, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 15th through November 15th, is change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Now, isn't that the truth? <laughs> So change is scary, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's difficult, but hopefully we get through these changes all right, and hopefully this reading will help you to figure out how to navigate those changes in the best way possible. Okay, so we'll start out with your family life, what's going on there? And if you don't have a, your own family, this could just be um, the people you consider to be like family, close friends, things like that. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So healing. There are some relationships within your family or your close inner circle that um, are starting to heal. And, you know, th these are changes, aren't they? Um, so this is a really, really good card. Now, you'll see with this guy um, here, he's got all of these daggers, all of these arrows going into his back, right? But when they're like this, they're falling out. And he's looking up towards the sky, towards the divine, Um towards God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, and they are helping him to heal. So do remember that you have always angel support um, around you and that you can call upon them to help you heal when you're having a tough time. What's going on in your home life? Now, sometimes this will come out as your actual physical home, like renovations that need to be done, and also um, just the people you live with. So let's see what we have for October 15th through November 15th. The Page of Cups in reverse. So, um, not, this is interesting, and I feel like we need one more card to make that extra clear in the world in reverse. So, some disappointments, maybe. 
Um, lack of emotional communication surrounding the home. So this could be that perhaps there are things um, within the home that do not make it feel like home, that make you feel like you don't have everything you want at this point in time, but you just can't communicate your emotions effectively. So I think the important thing to ask then after that is how do we do that? And, you know, going along with our general theme of change, um, it's important that we that we do that. And it's saying, you know what, you're right, though. Right now is just not the good, it is not a time for new ideas. It's not a time for new um, projects or anything like that. It's just one of those times where, yeah, I mean, it might be that way, but it's kind of what has to happen at this moment. We have the Five of Cups just jump out as I'm talking about it. And it says, you know, you're wise. Your intuition is spot on on how to deal with this, which is kind of just like not dealing with it this month. It doesn't mean next month we shouldn't. But October 15th through November 15th, it just isn't the time. Um, now, you see, the owl is sitting here. And we've got all of these eggs. And three of the eggs are crunched and they're broken, but he's got these two left. And he's sitting here and he's focusing on the sadness of um, the eggs that have been broken, that are crunched, that won't grow up to be, you know, little owlets. Instead of looking at these ones and continuing to nurture and care for those. So what the owl needs to do here is sit on these eggs, protect these eggs, because if we're not expressing gratitude and thanks and really cherishing the things that are good within our home environment, um, we stand to lose those as well, okay? So, moving on from home, what's going on in our friendships? This is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, we are not feeling like we are tied to friendships that are negative for us anymore. We may have communicated to other people, look, um, this is not going so well. Every time that we're hanging out, I'm feeling kind of cruddy. Um, so... You know, let's just not be around each other right now. Um, cutting the, again, with that concept of change, cutting the crap out of your life, surrounding yourself only with the people who empower you, who make you feel good about yourself. And that's really big. Um, we have so many reverse cards. And it's funny, though, because I know every once in a while when this happens in a reading, I'll get a comment like, I think your deck's upside down. It isn't. There, um, if you look through the deck, sure, some of them are upside down, but many of them are not. And um, it's just, you know, reversed cards are not bad. I want to make sure that you know that. It just means that um, it's just like a second interpretation. It's a different way to read the same card. Okay, so um, this was in regards to your friendship still. Um, Things are just not going traditionally. Like, the way that I would interpret this is that, you know, sometimes we are lumped into different cliques, different groups. And then maybe there's one person in the group that you just don't jive with. And so you might start hanging out with certain people outside of the group, doing it differently. Okay? That's what it means. It's not bad. We do have a number message that just popped up, and I want to read it for you quickly. Um... Bear with me. I'm sorry. It says your positive affirmations about your career and finances are working. So keep going with that. So I think that's a sign to move on from the topic of friendship and move right into the topic of our work life and our money for this month, October 15th and on through November 15th for Aquarians. Um, nine, funny, another reverse card. Um, nine of swords in reverse. So with this one, you know, this fox is not looking at the moon as typically would. He's looking away from it. And so in the reversed position, and the moon, you know, is representative of our intuition. So it's saying, you know, you are totally attuned this month. Try to tune into your intuition. You may not feel like it, but there is guidance to come for your career and your money this month if you are to do that. So take note of that um, because ultimately it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and growth within your career. We have this sun card here. And then at the bottom of the sun card, I don't know if you can see these two tiny little bunnies there. And bunnies are about replication. You know, bunnies have um, two uteruses. I only know that because I have a female bunny. But... So they can be pregnant um, with 
a batch of bunnies at the same time they're about to give birth and are already pregnant. They can be too pregnant at the same time. That doesn't make sense. But anyway, so your growth is there within your career. You can um, find a lot of happiness and joy from that, and it can be compounded, okay? So this is a really, really good month financially for you if you can follow your gut instincts and your divinely guided um, advice. Whoa, a bunch of cards just jumped out on the floor. So I will read these to you. Um, they ended up face down, so we'll just go with the flow on these. So how are we going to do that? We have the moon in reverse. Um, try not to force it, okay? Some of you are like, okay, gosh, I need to look for signs, and then you're pulling signs out of places that like are not really signs. Um, just kind of closing your eyes and allowing things to flow in. Whenever you get this gut instinct, that's all you have to do. You don't have to go out searching. And then it says um, five of swords here. So this is doing things sometimes that although you're an Aquarius and you live to help other people, like you are all about the highest good for everyone, this month it has to be about the highest good for yourself. This month you need to do what is right for you, okay? Now, challenges we have here are the juggle. The juggle of all of your responsibilities, your day-to-day -day life, um, your work-life balance, your family, all of those things. And the other challenge is um, just to actually take the actions necessary. So you might have these great ideas. You might have these wonderful um, plans and things, but if you don't carry them out, they're not actually worth anything, are they? And so it's about finding the balance within your life, being able to um, then afterwards find the passion and the drive to complete the actions of the ideas that you have. Now it's very important that you take these actions this month between October 15th and November 15th because this month in particular, as you saw, we have a lot of room for happiness and growth in financial abundance. So um, let's see. Moving on then to our health. What do we have going on for our health? Six of Cups in reverse, trying new things. Not, you know, treating our diet and our exercise um, patterns or our um, lack of patterns the same exact way. Now, that could be why the work struggle is coming into balance or um, is out of balance. Maybe you've implemented something new in your physical health routine. What else for health? Is there anything we need to know or be on the lookout for? You might be just feeling weak and fatigued. So if you haven't been um, physically weight training, anything like that, that would also be a really good thing for you this month um, in specific, like less cardio, more um, weight lifting. Now, as a female, personally, I... Um, well, I don't... Let's be real here. I don't like to exercise ever. I won't. Don't like it. But if I were going to, um, certainly would not choose to do weightlifting of all things just because I don't want to bulk up, right? I would rather be trim and things like that. But this month, you really do need to work on your strength, okay? Specifically in your back. I'm getting that. Specifically back strength. Okay, now let's get into our love lives. So we're going to start with Aquarius singles. What is it that we need to know? Um, Four of Swords in reverse. So you might have been taking a break from dating. It is time to get back out there. It really is. Nobody's going to just show up on your doorstep and say, hey, um, knock, knock. Who's there? The man of your dreams. The woman of your dreams. It doesn't happen like that. It would be freaking amazing if it did, but it doesn't. So you have to get back out there. Try internet dating. Um, like, don't wear your pajamas when you go to get lunch. <laughs> Stuff like that. Looking cute at all times. Just kidding. You don't have to at all times. Oh, but it comes right out. It's just saying, look, if you want love in your life, go find it. That's your <laughs> that's your basic message as far as love stuff goes for singles. But what else is it for single Aquarians? Sun, moon, and rising. Oh, a lot of happiness and joy and um, abundance as far as love goes. Now, you could be humping like rabbits this month. And um, so because there is so much potential for growth and things to bud and flower and blossom, I would be cautious to use protection if you do not want a baby. Um, 
You might be feeling like any people that you're meeting or dating are just not the whole package this month. Um, and so it kind of can affect your feelings of confidence as far as going out there and meeting new people. It's like, gosh, I just never meet the right people or the right people are not attracted to me, things like that. How do we get over those negative feelings of lack? Um, it's, okay, so this is going to sound kind of weird, but some of you are trying to meet people in the wrong places, specifically like pubs or bars where people are drunk. Okay, like you want someone who has their stuff together. They're probably not out getting loaded every weekend. So there's that. But that doesn't help us really figure out where we can find someone. Um, and it says that this month it's probably not going to be in church either. And you know what I feel like this is kind of um, or also 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 some of you are meeting married people, people who are already married, but just like unfaithful within their marriages. Um, so I really feel like this month is a good month for internet dating so that you can sift through the bullshit first and then narrow it down to who seems to be a good fit for you. Um, what else? But just make sure like before, that you're focused on the benefits of being single, which means that you have um, more options. You're not settling for less than you deserve or less than you want. Um, and, you know, just really, really, really be optimistic and positive this month because that will help you to attract the correct mate for you. Now, for those of you who are Aquarius and you are coupled, what do we have this month for you? October 15th through November 15th. Maybe not having enough sex or passion within your relationship. And it says that the reason why, sorry, um, the reason why is that some of you are feeling judged. Some, are, some of you are feeling like your partner is just maybe a little too hard on you. Or um, maybe they always have something to say. Like, why don't you dress sexy for me? Why are you always in your pajamas when I get home from work? Like, why aren't you? No, 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 no. Um, you might be feeling sort of attacked and therefore it sucks the mood out for you. So how can we fix this? It's, <laughs> it's saying, you know, that by telling the other person about who you are, right? Telling them, look, you see me in a different way than I see me, and here's how I feel, and here are the reasons why I do these things, and why I don't do these things, and I would like for you to understand, okay? Now, um, this person has a mask on, and so it's about masking your true feelings um, and then maybe also judging your partner, right? Because we don't want to look at those because sometimes our feelings hurt us, and so it's saying, you know, trying to keep the peace and not talking about things isn't going to make it better. So if you want to talk about why you're not having enough sex this month, why that drive is kind of left, it's a good idea. Um, because it it's cute that this one jumped out as the challenge because it will help you, um, even though it's difficult conversation, to reconnect, to bring that passion and that drive back into the relationship. What else for coupled Aquarians? Two of Pentacles. For some of you, you're just not, it's not even an emotional thing. It's not about um, judgment outside of the fact that you have so much going on with your responsibilities between the work, home, kids, that sort of a thing. It's saying you just have so many things on your plate that you're exhausted, you know? And so that's kind of what's taking the back burner. And then, um, you know, maybe your partner feels like, hey, you just don't find me attractive. When really it's quite the opposite. You just are fatigued. Um, so this one here is saying, you already know this though. Like this isn't something that I needed to tell you or that you specifically needed to hear. It's just a push from spirit guides, angel, God, Allah, to tell you not to avoid it, okay? You have to tackle this head on um, because otherwise it can bubble over into something a little bit bigger than it is right now. It will inhibit you from moving forward in a really um, happy direction 
with your partner because resentment can grow, right? And especially if they're feeling like the reason might be because you just don't like them, because you don't love them anymore. They'll The trouble with their sort of fears or thoughts like that is that they actually believe them, okay? So um, you just really have to tell them, explain it to them, what it's about. Um, sorry, my computer screen just went on pause there. You have a slight challenge of... Um, Again, this is so interesting because you have so many thoughts about work, about career, about your health, about your friendship, about all these changes, but then, you know, you're slightly challenged to take the actions. And so it's saying, you know, within the context of your relationship, any thoughts that you have, um, it's very important to follow those through, any um, new ideas. Now, you do have a number message one more time here, and it says your connection with the Creator is strong and clear, and God asks you to fill your heart and mind with faith, and that you should ask for heaven for help um, in doing so if you desire that because your faith is going to be rewarded right now. So um, trusting your gut instincts again is coming up. Trusting God. And it's saying, you know, really, really, really try hard in your relationship um, not to speak aggressively or um, to kind of lash out to be a bitch it's very important this month for your partner because they might be feeling sort of sensitive. Um, and then the last thing is that, you know, once you talk about these issues, specifically about your sex life and your work-life balance and maybe how they can help you out at home or um, in different ways, that will cause the relationship a lot of healing and reconnection. So I hope that's helpful. If you'd like a personal reading, all of the contact information is below in the description box as are links to um, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all that stuff. Love and light. See you in a couple weeks for your love readings. Bye.